a dance party, we get started in Times Square. Take a headphone. Take a headphone. We're going on a dance party. Come on. Before you guys in the Abraham Lincoln seats, pow, 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 pow. It's got handicaps. <laughs> Into it. What radio right now? If you work for me, I fire you. Guys. Sorry. Let's get real wavy up in this bitch. And he kept saying it's fate and it's destiny. We played a song coming <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> the hell happened? Well, we always, they always come on live. We're yeah, I mean, I, but that's like, that's I, day I, one stuff. Like when you're at a sports arena and you look saying. at the Jumbotron because you're like, how am I there and here? Like yeah, this is, fun. I'll look at this yeah. all night. Yeah, like, watch what's that? I like that? people to see. Where even here? is the camera? Yeah. Is that the camera? That one. Yeah. Uh, are we live on the website, Pete? Yeah. Okay, so uh, Barfly on Thursday night, even watching that rundown, it seems like I can't imagine for you guys. It's a busy week for everybody, for camera people, for us, I'm sure. Crazy busy and stressful for you guys. I mean, the Michigan man already feels like it was a week ago, two weeks ago. It's hard to believe he was just having a mental breakdown like 48 hours ago that we had that guy on our hand. So we're down to five. Today's tasks, uh, we're basically doing anything. Act like you guys are employees here. See what you come up with. Um, Let's recap. I guess we'll start last night. And there is rumors that we are going to end this thing today as opposed to tomorrow. It's supposed to originally go tomorrow till noon, but we're going to see because uh, you can't do much from tomorrow morning and people tune off the internet, um, you know, by five o'clock on Friday and we want people to watch the finale. This is brought to you, by the way, Lisa. Mattress, mattress, mattresses. The winner of this year's Idol very soon will receive a free Lisa mattress. Also a full-time job, so that's a pretty good combo. Uh, you get 160 bucks off at lisa.com slash idle. That's the deepest account. People are running around, that makes me nervous. It's the deepest discount they've ever offered. That's lisa.com slash idle. $160 off. It's more than sleep. Lisa mattresses, mattress, mattress, mattresses. Okay, we got a recap of last night, so let's watch it. I should be wearing a helmet. Like, what I always fucking hey. do is, yeah, I know. I'm going to answer you, my guy. You know, brand, like Oreo. brand foods, like Oreo, chocolate chip, Oreo, chip Savoy. Then he brand, like, I'm looking at crazy shit over here. It's an Indian shop, right? It's yeah. Indian food. Yeah, stop being a fucking asshole. What do you mean? Yo, Austin, you still want to be roommates even though his room's open? Oh, uh, yeah, baby, dysfunctional dual. Dif 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 I'm trying to actually break this much so it doesn't look like a stick. It's actually fucking I feel like you should be used to this by now. Yeah, Mark, what are you talking about? I'm trying to get out of it. Bet on the best like team. Jim, you're kind of like the Jim Kelly of betting. It's like, all right, I got cancer again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you get it. Coming like, back. You should be coming expect, back. You should, yeah, you should be used to this by now. Fuck you don't get used to losing. It's hard. I feel like Dave fucking Safal right now. My brain is pudding. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to fucking... Like, last night I was this that I close said. to snapping. I said, uh, I said today it was like, I've been here for two full days, but I feel like I've been here like three weeks. You know, not in a good way, not like in a comfortable way. It's like, Jesus Christ, it's like exhausting. I'm tired with them, but I'm coming for the throat. I mean, this is cutthroat entertainment, and I'm coming for everyone's throat. I, I like everybody, but at the same time, I want everybody to get polio. Hey, Mantis. I'm doing an interview, what? Suck my dick. I literally just strummed it. I did not know. I don't know how to play any instrument. Yeah, I didn't even know you could move your hands like that. I can't believe you were doing that with the lotion. That was shit. Yeah. That was fucking wild. Yeah. That you've done before. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was interesting. I mean, it looks like no, you guys he, are actually he, getting along. He so hasn't talented. done that before because he gets wet dreams. He's had 23 wet dreams in the last yeah. like year or whatever. 
Freshman year. Since freshman year. You know, it, that was an interesting recap because I thought you guys all actually came across like as normal, likable, fairly fun. Well, that was, I, was, I, was, I was looking around, I was looking forward to hating everybody here. But it's a pretty congenial relationship across the board, I guess. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Congenial? Yeah. Congenial, yeah, yeah, yeah. Word. You're like friendly, amicable. All right, so now Were we got- Were you there? No, I didn't go last night. Okay. Ouch. Yeah. Um, ouch. Why? Uh, I mean, I have a place to say that was like 15 minutes away. And but I'd... then when we watch that- Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, that's been more than what it's usually been, but I do my best work in the morning, so I got here like pretty early this morning to try and pump out a pretty but long blog. I think we're gonna start with you, uh, looks like on here, which I- Broadway Joe, I think that's like a way better name for you than <laughs> Dylan's you, right? That is me. Yeah, Broadway Joe. All right, uh, let's see what Broadway you got. This Joe. is the important, you could do whatever you wanted here. You're friends with Frankie from, um, from, from Life? Oh yeah. How do you explain your friendship with him? Has he told you anything about our friendship? He just knows, he told me that he knew you from growing up. Frankie was actually, I don't know what he's like here, but he's a, he was a huge, huge bully growing up. Was he? Huge, big time. That's what I like to hear. Me and Frankie were like friends, but like the friends that were always fucking button heads. You know what I mean? Oh. And uh, like my dad was the head coach on the baseball team. His dad was the assistant coach. Our moms taught religion together. So like it was like a forced hangout all the time. Uh huh. Did Frankie ever have a nickname growing up? Uh, that would be Bones Borelli. Oh my God. Bones, Bones Borelli. Borelli? Just. Frankie Bones Borelli? <laughs> Frankie was probably like 90 pounds soaking wet in high school. Then why did everyone let him bully them? Because he had a fucking yapper. This kid mm. just knew how to talk. And I once saw Prez at, in a bar and I went up to him and I was like, I was so surprised that Frankie was so reserved yeah. when he started here because I, how I know Frankie, he had such a big fucking mouth growing up. That's great. This is for you, Frankie. Shout out. Frankie Bones, he's throwing stones. He looks like a bitch, but he'll knock you down. He'll make you a pizza, and then he'll beat you. He's the meanest kid in town. Why is he so mean to me? I just want to be his friends. I thought that one day we could be together. I loved him once, I knew him as a soft little boy, and then this kid told me he was hard, and it made me hard, I said, oh my god, I'll take him home and he'll throw me around, we might switch roles, he can hold me down, usually, well, I'm on top, but tonight I might let him give me his cock, Frankie Bones, he's throwing stones, Looks like a bitch, but he'll knock you down. He'll make you a pizza, and then he'll be sure the meanest kid in town. What did you want to be when you grew up, sir? Uh, a veterinarian. Are you a veterinarian today, living your dreams? No, what do you no, do? no, I'm an IT consultant. An IT consultant. Well, clearly that man is not helping animals at all. What do you think came first, the toe of a camel or a camel toe? That's a good question, the toe of a camel. Follow-up question, what do you think came first, the knuckle of a moose or a moose knuckle? What's a moose knuckle? I'm not sure what that is. It's when, it's when your, your balls are just really tight, right? And then you could just see the outline of just the ball and cock situation. So follow-up, what do you think came first? Um, I don't know, you decide, you guys decide. It was the moose knuckle. Best smoothie in New York City. The best smoothie yeah. in New York City. Two sisters. Two sisters. Two sisters. Me and him, two, two sisters. sisters. Me and you, yes. two sisters. It's just name. Just name. Two sisters right here. Yeah, just <laughs> Not us, man. Yeah, we're two anyway, sisters. Yeah, you can make sure for two sisters right there. Up, up. Just look up. Look up, two sisters. Look up. He wants you to look up. Get the shot. Get the shot. We get some, we get some watermelon in there. Yeah, yeah. Two for you. Two for Good you. Night. One yeah. for me. Making a smoothie. Oh, we got a guy right here making a smoothie. We're getting number one. 
No, no sugar. You know, I'm, I'm watching the fig. Come on, Dad. You know that. If you want to make a show for a hot dog, it's okay. He can do it. Does that, is that included in the $20 I brought? No, it's a different That's a different $20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it doesn't come cheap making, making videos over here. All right, we're smoothie. We're smoothie. What kind of smoothie do you want? Everyone gets a smoothie. It's free smoothie day. No, no, it's you're not free, man. Oh, it's not free. It's not free. That's the best in New York City. Two sisters, one guy, one guy, two sisters here making smoothies. Well, I mean, the, the video of Frank making fun of Frankie was great, but mm -hmm. it's an interesting one because Francis stole it a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. um, but Who came up with the lyrics? Uh, we wrote the chorus to get. He, he, he approached me and uh, said, you know, could, I know you do the musical improv offended uh, podcast with Roan. Uh, would you be interested in doing like a, a fake episode with me? I said, sure. Uh, we started spitballing. He's friends with Frankie from back in the day. And we came up uh, with that chorus together. And then we improvised the verses. So you came up with the lyrics for your part. For my part. He did his part, yeah. Got we both did the chorus together. I mean, it's very good, and there is something to be said <clears throat> if he's of value to Francis or vice versa. This the uh, man in the street, for whatever reason, the bike guy is hilarious to me that he was like answering you during that. Um, <laughs> but were you involved in the editing of it? Uh, yeah, I was. So to me, that maybe just probably it went too long. Mm -hmm. Like it, okay. it was the juice part was dragging. I mean, there's good stuff. I guess I expect good stuff at this point since you've made it this far. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> the uh, music video was good, but I don't know how much Francis was involved. Or I mean, it, it was good. It was, made me laugh, and the bike part was great. Um, I think you're the same that we said last night. You're really good at going approaching people yeah. Very good. and making people comfortable, which is a skill and an asset. All right, Rocky. Welcome back to Barstool News Network. My name is Rocky Daverna, and I thank you for inviting us into your homes to deliver only the most important news from across the country. Tonight, how black is too black? Police departments around the nation are cracking down on tinted windows this summer, and BNN has some tips to help you keep your vehicle on the road. In other news, a Michigan man has been arrested for conspiracy to commit mass murder. NYPD located the man walking down Fifth Ave, crying and talking. Oh, we we have a breaking news update for you. The downtown dog drowner has finally been caught on camera after leaving the scene of one of his most heinous crimes late last night. A man allegedly responsible for the deaths of 37 murdered puppies and dogs has left downtown Brooklyn in a panic frenzy this summer. And I'm now getting word that we have a police sketch of Triple D ready to release to the public. We're going to BNN's investigative reporter, Stan Brickley, who is live in the field of witnesses who say they have crossed paths with this piece of shit human being. Thanks, Rocky. And if we're being honest here, that sketch screams dog murderer and probably sexual assaulter. I just spoke to several witnesses who have crossed paths with Triple D, and they could potentially give details that could lead to his justice. Let's hear what they have to say. Look, you know what? This guy deserves everything that's coming to him. He's disgusting, he's a liberal, and above all else, I mean, he's a dog killer. I just never liked the look of him. He just always gave me an uneasy feeling. Like, it kind of makes sense that he drowns puppies. Yeah, dude, that, that dude's a weird dude, man. He, uh, he had some puppies in his pocket walking home out of the office the other day, and I was like, man, that's weird. But it makes sense. Now you say that, it makes complete sense. He was probably killing them. Well, I saw him do it. I did see him do it. Uh -huh. I was eating another lunch at the time, so I didn't make a big issue out of it because I didn't want it to break up my lunch time. People are saying he did it. There's no possible way he did it. I've known this guy for I don't know how long. He's not that type of guy. I was with him all the time that they said he did it. There's no way he did it. I'll stake my life on it. Goldfish, maybe. Frog, yes. Dog, no chance. No chance for dog. Well, maybe some dogs, but not that dog. Yo, bro, I know this motherfucker here. Oh my, bro, do you see this shit? Bro. Thanks for that, Stan. And from us here at BNN, we hope you stay safe. And we also hope you keep your eyes peeled for that dirty, dirty man. <laughs> He's 
good. That was good. Very inside Barstool. But but funny. Got laughs. I didn't think there was going to be laughs going into it, to be honest. But it flipped and got smart, funny. So, uh, yeah, that was good. Again, inside Barstool, but good. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I don't really have anything else to add. I laughed. <clears throat> I did say last night that anytime you use, like, inside Barstool jokes, I kind of look at it a little differently just because you got to be funny outside of Barstool to work inside Barstool. But uh, I was... I, Dave's exactly right. When that started, I was like, this video sucks. And you got a few good laughs. And, I mean, and to, I guess, Dan's point, <clears throat> it's funny, but it's almost cheap laughs in a way. You because, can't like, do, if, if you don't yes. know Barstool, are you laughing at right, that? Right. Like, can't. I see my dad and yeah. I laugh because right. it's my fucking dad. Right, and Caleb, <laughs> Caleb's line was hilarious. Right. So you can't rely and on Tyler Barstool. Rose, hey, like, you know, right. that, but it's very funny, and clearly, you knew your audience. Yeah, you harnessed. Uh, the right people, I think, and, and it was well put together, and uh, it, it, it's like a, something we haven't really seen, you know, yeah. like an investigative mm -hmm. report or whatever. Um, because, so I thought it, I liked it. Yeah, because I guess theoretically you could say the same thing about Dylan. It's like right. a Frankie Borelli roast. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just tried to make it original. It was. anything and yeah. Yeah. something you haven't seen before. And so. you've had this ongoing thing with O'Day, right? Yeah, yeah the like audition. The I thought it would be yeah. you know, kind of funny to do. Who drew the sketch? I had one of the t-shirt guys draw the police sketch. Nice. Smart, too. Smart. Resourceful. Um, yeah. Very, very resourceful. Uh, Joe, what do you, well, let's go to Joe. Uh, Got here a crime. Well, I mean, I was recently granted the opportunity to speak with a couple sources inside Marcus Cannon's camp. Now, I won't get into the various idiosyncrasies regarding the severity of the situation, but I will say this. Marcus Cannon will not play come Sunday, and that is bad news if your name is Tom Brady. And I get it's Tom Brady. I get it's Bill Belichick. I understand the Patriots have an impeccable track record when it comes to overcoming injuries, but let me be very clear. Marcus Cannon ain't no scrub. I mean, a man can ball. And come Sunday, you are no longer allowed to hide behind your reputation alone. You gonna need a before. Dear fellow stoolies, this is Donald J. Trump reporting live inside the headquarters of Barstool Sports with the first official state of the stool. I mean, I love Mexico. Nobody wants Mexicans in this country more than Donald Trump, okay? I was on the campaign trail and I saw a young Mexican boy in the crowd, seven or eight years old, unbelievable. And he looks at me and he goes, Donald, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. Seven or eight years old, unbelievable. So I looked at him and I said, Pablo, we need more people in this country just like you. One, because I believe the children are our future, but two, because we deported them last Tuesday. I mean, Rosie O'Donnell's an androgynous hack. I mean, she's the size of an IMAX theater and people are always telling me, but Donald, but Donald, Rosie's lost 50 pounds. I mean, Rosie losing 50 pounds is like throwing a deck chair off the Titanic. I mean, I love Sean Spicer, but quite frankly, I mean, he has the sex appeal of a Ziploc bag filled with hot mayonnaise. Hot mayonnaise, and believe me, anybody who tells you otherwise is fake news. I mean, you're very good at impressions, clearly. Like, I close my eyes a little bit when you're doing Stephen A, and the only thing I could almost think on that like, I don't love, state, like, impressions, but it's like a PMT. Like, a, can you use, like, a guy who... Yeah, I try to, like, build on the no. versatility. Right. Like, if you need... The answer is definitive. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. Like, also, a, you can tell, like, an Alex Corr or something. You need a guy, yeah, like, to right. step in and do certain right. things. I feel like if you're going to play that character, you shouldn't do any sort of black facing at all, um, which you did. And it that, was snap, uh, Snapchat filter. Really was that, matters. like... I okay, yeah, yeah. As, as long as your face is black, it's going to offend. Um, mm. I, I was offended. I wasn't offended. <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't care. I thought that I was another. Care. I thought that was. I, thought I didn't that was, care at all. I just wanted to be mean. Yeah, I thought that was uh, another plug for no, the podcast. No. Subscribe right now. Link musical. Subscribe up iTunes. Um, <laughs> I will tell you this. I read your blog today, and I did not like it at all. Really? Yeah. You took shots at people that I, work here. Yeah. And uh, you were going after Kevin, and. We don't really do that, um, mm. and I. Some people do it. I have that no was, problem. If I if I can say something, that was the one thing I pried from my blog before it was posted. I thought that that was, I don't know, it was low hanging fruit. I thought exactly. it was from that my exactly from my perspective was. to do it, it was, like, was a little bit ridiculous. It was pandering to me. Exactly. And yeah. I don't I don't like that. Pandering. Yeah. yeah. 
to the like comment section and uh, you know. I I agree. Fucking Nate. No, no, I, no, I, I'd agree. I, I thought it was a little bit. To be that's perfect, what you were doing. You're trying to please the comment section. Like, no, 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 no. That's I mean, that wasn't my intent. My intent was kind of to go in because, to be perfectly honest, I thought last night with the video portion, I didn't really do myself, you know, much or whatever. So I was like, all right, I'm kind of in a bear trap right now. Uh, I might as well just go out guns blazing. At least I can say I did something prior. I thought it was written well. I think I've had the best blogs um, here so far. I think just in terms of just from a general uh, perspective, but I can totally see where you're coming from about that, and I apologize, I mean, if it... No, I mean, I, look, it is what it is. It, it, it made me not like you, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately. I've liked you up to this point, but I, I found that okay. low. I found it low. Yeah, it was, I think that particular, uh, the kid, that was, yeah, I agree with that. The other stuff, I... I'm so I thought that was fair game. You're making fun of fucking Riggs' eyes when you did, but I, I actually don't care about taking. The sh you gotta do what you gotta do to try to get noticed. I didn't think it was unusually funny, mm -hmm. but I mean, I don't mind our guys getting ripped. We get all ripped, so I don't have the same like I, moral thing. Yeah, I mean, my thing is like the low hanging fruit. You make yeah, jokes that have already been made, and the Stephen A. Smith impression was good. Trump impressions to me are cheap at this point. It's like I've heard a billion of them, mm. so I, you know. You do a very good one, but I don't know if that is enough for me to be like, wow, this guy is, you know, next level, we need him. What's weird is, I've well, not weird, throughout, I've been saying my favorite part of you is you're very conversational and just us talking, but then you keep putting the impressions, which you are good at, yeah. but I hate, and I don't think we see use <laughs> for, and I don't hate in the sense they're not good. Like, I don't like any impressions. They can be the best impressions, like, yeah, not great. So the things I like about you, you didn't actually do today, if that makes any sense. I just feel it's kind of tough because it's like you got to go out and kind of make an impact, I guess. Yeah, so yeah. it's like my style of humor really isn't, I guess we'd say like impactful, but it's right. it's more casual, like right. you said. So but with that's that what you should have done. Right. Uh, with that blog, I was that was not casual. I'll give you that. But I mean, I was just trying to. It, it's difficult to try to make but an it, impact. It, it, it's polarizing, he you, but at he the same, basically gave you the key. Like he mm. told you the answers to the test for like what, where you yeah. could excel, and you just didn't. Like if I were you instead of that blog, which which for the most part was sort of rehashed jokes, which again I don't mind. What like to call something to attention that is very current and nobody here's blogged about, and you put a very interesting spin. It's like oh I didn't think, but I did think. That would have been more like yeah, that's like yeah, that's what we're looking for. Um, like for example, it's not the same, but I went on rant on like, I hate how Staten Island is called Mid-Atlantic. Like something that's just there, that's an interesting, that's what that blog has been built on and we need more of, which mm -hmm. is blogs, everyone can blog the same things, like just different slants, but slants, when people read it, like, oh yeah, that's, that's how I am glad that someone's thinking like that. So anyways, uh, moving along. Uh, we got now, we got double, we got a uh, condition slash mantis and mush video. So you guys collab. Hmm. Smart, probably, but somebody's got to go home. Thanks, man. So, uh, what do you want to do today? Say we go to the park. I mean, I like animals. Oh, yeah. Hey, just a lunch, dessert. Definitely thirsty. Maybe even pet a rat. Sounds good. All right. Let's do it. Count down. Right on. Where is it? It's over there. Oh. It's right in that park. Hey, hey. You're my best buddy. You really take care of me. I do, man. If it wasn't for me doing your financial costs and you. No joke, though. The, the math, anytime a number pops up, I got nothing. It's common sense, man. I mean, if you know one through 10, you should be fine. I mean, you would get it. Excuse me, girls. Can I just jump in line with you? I have a condition that I can't wear really a stand too long. So I just stand here and go behind you. Oh, yeah. I'll do that. That's even better. A little, a little Thank, you. Thank you. I can't read much either, so I gotta keep going. I'll just, excuse me, ma'am. I have a. Uh, can I cut in front of you? I have a condition of my back, and if I wait too long, it just gets more curved. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. You want to That still hurts. No. I'm gonna see it here. Still here. I can't read. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. I have a condition. Sorry about that. Excuse me. 
Hey, big brother. Wait, I have a, I'm sorry, guys. I mean to bother you guys. I have a, I have a back condition that's one in, okay. Thank you, yeah. sorry. Appreciate it. Excuse me, I don't mean to bother you guys. I have a uh, back condition. May I jump in front of you? Thank you, and thank you so much. Uh, hi, how are you? What is that, sir? Let's get a lemonade, please. Lemonade? Yeah. Small, please. That's it. That's it. What did you get? Lemonade. I got you lemonade. Oh, sweet. Thanks, man. Bro. Oh. oh. Thank you, because you... we're special. I got it. Thank That's you so good. Much. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Did they give it to us because we're special? I think so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. <laughs> this is really, this is sweet because it's lemonade. Uh, wait, what's? I need, I, need, I need a straw. Shove it in there, Mushy. Come on. Wait. Can you help me? Yeah, just here. Oh, excuse me, sir. Can my friend pet your rat? <laughs> pet the rat, Mushy. Hey, rat. Hey, What's rat. What's name? Rat. Rat? Hey, rat. Oh, I love the rat though. Ryan the Big rat. Big rat fan. Excuse me, I have a question. Did you want to stay right here? My friend needs a, like, a little slow. Is there a way to get a free sample of a, sure. like a strawberry? Cool. Thank you. Oh, there you go, man. Bush. Oh. How's that? You don't like it? Did you try one chocolate as well? Here you go, bro. Uh, the last one, do we need vanilla? It's the last one? I'm sorry. This is, my, this is my favorite too, so you should. Thanks, but I'm good. Thank you. Right. Thank you. We got a line, sir. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. How are we doing? Thank you. You stick a rib out, we get anything. That's right. That's it. I can get you anywhere except for an SAT testing place. Excuse me? This is my brother's like lifelong dream. Would he be able to just like to sit in the director's chair? Oh, sure. Life dream. First hey. time in New York City. What's up, man? We should start directing this shit. Yeah. What are we filming? Uh, it's so who won? No one yet. No one? Not for this one, yeah. Oh. Well, today was a fun day. That was a great day. Just being a little slow gets you anywhere. Yeah. It's I mean, like... People are really nice, too. They just let us anything we wanted. We got it for free, free samples. I even pet a rat. And we got free lemonade. What a day. What a day. We'll be back. Can I sleep on the, the bottom bed this time? The top bed is kind of hard to climb into. But I mean, that's a lot to think about. I want to go up. How are you going to get up there? Oh, you want to go down. I want to be on the bottom, yeah. Nah. Funny. Mm -hmm. uh, that was like a charity act, though, that you did. You just, I mean, you just you you brought Mush along for your video. Like, I, I don't think Mush you added much to that. That was, I think it would actually have been funnier with just you, to be totally honest. That was my vibe on it. But you guys are roommates. You're doing the roommate gig. Uh, but I mean, I would not have done that if I were you with him because it just made. Like, he came across as very funny, and you're just along for the ride, in my mind. I know, I mean, I thought we also had till tomorrow, and I had my, I will try to get away from the gambling to see if I could do more than yeah. just that, and I thought I had till tomorrow to even really hit my gambling part, and... So what are you working on? I was just gonna do a video with, want me to tell you what it was? Sure. Like, I was gonna ask you for like, uh, I was gonna do a 50-50. I can't make it. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> But like, just kidding. <laughs> I don't know, but what if I couldn't? Yeah, yeah like I, don't, I, mean, I, I probably done, can. I but what, done, what would you have done? I would have. Like, why didn't you do that today? Uh, because I, I thought that was gonna outshine my video, and I didn't want. Got it. To, what was the idea? To, to actually do 50-50, I was gonna rig the whole thing, and still lose. Got it. Okay. All right. Um, we got, and then it gets. I that guess, would have pissed me off. I guess I lost again. What? I, lo I would lose. You win. Oh, I, I still, I tried rigging it and you win. So it have been good for you. Got it. All right, now I like you. Appreciate we got one more condition video too. So he also did, so he, he did too, I guess. All right, I've been making videos all week. I've been working, I've been vlogging, haven't had time to do any workouts or exercises. So I'm gonna go see if anyone wants to play a game of horse or pig and show these people the soggy shot. You wanna play horse? Here's you. I, I have a, there's no air on that. Call me the soggy shooter. Soggy wet shooter. Let's start right here. Oh, maybe not. 
air, wind. You might as well do pain, so I got pee. There she is. A young Steph Curry, some may say. Me, I have pee. This will be a pee for him, too. Yeah, all right. Oh, J.R. Smith. That's game. I told you I'm a shooter. What time is it? 344, the, the bank's still open, right? The bank's still, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, ACL. You guys next? You wanna play next? All right, let's do it. I'm about, I'm about to beat him, so give me one minute. This, this is for game right here. Jamal Crawford. Ah! In and out at the burger. Who's the best shooter out of you three? Who's the best shooter out of you three? Let's do it. As a, I'll, be, I'll be courteous. I'll let you shoot first. Hell no! Is he, is he really the best shooter? Uh, who, who makes a net yellow? I mean, that's just throwing me out like the Ronald McDonald uh, rim and net. There you go, a little, a little hustle. Uh, can we get a sub? Do you want a sub in? There we go. Where do we mean to make it? Where should I? Right here? Give me a pass. Great pass. Oh, bad pass. So we're 2 and 0 right now, pig. Nothing new. I'm from Indiana, so I know how to shoot. Oh, who makes these double rims? That's so stupid. Like the only double things I should be playing with is tits. Well, there's a sun right there. Let's want to get that quick. No, there is. There's there. No sun. That's the bucket. No sun. I told you it's the sun. I told you. I forgot my, I forgot my Gucci's. It's a great day to be Austin Taylor. A winner. Good day, man. All right, well, it's a normal day. I got my exercise in finally. I've been grinding in the week. The soggy shooter. Stroking it. Soggy wet. Soggy. Have a good one. <laughs> Did you actually go 3 0? Yeah, I didn't lose. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> same, same shit, different day. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was ridiculous. I, I tell people I shoot, and they, they but well, people think I'm special, so they. Well, I, yeah, I'm you're deformed. Did you oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Did you? like oh, this kid can't shoot? Was the yeah. was the uh, bank still open? Was that how many cuts? Or was that, that was the first? one. That was one shot, man. Okay. Probably I like that. No, no, I like because yeah. you left in like the pass and then you yeah. missed. So I was wondering if it was like selectively edited, but. No. That was good. It's an interesting thing that you can do it. I mean, I think the video ran a little long to a degree, but it, I mean, it's interesting. Again, you just have the natural, well, you can't shoot, and then you shoot and beat those guys. So yeah. it was interesting, and I like the fact you did two videos as well. So, um, which again hurts you, Bush. It's like, oh, I didn't have time to do like any, and he's out here like running game in Rucker Park over here. So. <laughs> It's, it was great. It was great to watch. It was like I'm still going to record. Yeah. I'm still going there. It was like wanting those videos that go viral where it's like, you know, surfers or skateboarder nerd plays yeah. pickup. Yeah. It's like, but with a, like a retarded kid. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> great, you know? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you the worst still one. haven't told us what it is. So By that's way, just I what I'm assuming. I don't, I don't use I don't, the R yeah. word yeah. just yeah. for the record. Yeah. I'm stuck with the form. I oh, love yeah. that word. Yeah. Um, Fucking ginger. <laughs> Like, how do you, you told me that, why? I'm sorry. I, it should I, be. I don't know, you haven't told I wish me you what's had going on, so I don't understand. Do we have any lotion? Nothing. I don't know. I'd love no. for you to lotion him right Maybe now. Maybe lotion, anybody lotion? Yeah. All right. Um, we'll do it. So we saw everything. I mean, I actually, I actually would have added that to almost make myself look better. Like, with less mission, whatever, that's. Oh, you would well, you can't hit every the shot. Guy who, the guy who hit a 50-foot pop-up and then put a lightning bolt on it to make that it look was. like he took Hank Yard? <laughs> that you is. You would have edited it? Is that what Hank tells you on your no, trips? That's, because that's, that's not what happened. That's what, that's what the... It was a whole... Or basic, wait, did we ever see the Dallas Braves video? There was a whole... I put that on, I retired from sports. It's true, that. you did. I don't know. That ball was demolished. <laughs> That's good to the know what the PMT guys The lightning bolt said it. Dark at the, in, the, in the wee hours of the night, Hank 
trying to talk himself out of that. The fact that he's still talking about it I speaks mean, about I, it. I mean, he has not mentioned yeah. it in like and three years. He picked up the microphone awful fast in the back there when that came up. Uh, anyways, back to you guys. Um, I mean, I, I, I know. Yeah, I, I think know. we all probably know. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. and, and I think all should of you guys probably know to a degree. We should probably make it a little bit more How dramatic, dramatic can it be, though? We're not dramatic. Yeah, we can't like, fake it. Yeah. Just, well, I'll say my part. Uh, first of all, thank you guys all for coming. Yep. He has an unfair advantage that I don't think I'd like to have that advantage, but he has that advantage coming in and unique and self-aware and funny and, you know, continually funny throughout. So it's not just, you know, your looks, but you're funny on camera, yeah, you're witty, all of that. Combine that with the fact that you are deformed to a degree, and we don't know what that is, and it's a pretty lethal comedic combination. Um, what are people laughing at? It's the truth. No, it's, I feel like deformed is bad too, but I just said the argument. Wow. Yeah, so I, I know. I apologize for that. We'll talk about but it. But there's so much you can do with it, and I think <laughs> that face was like, I'm not talking to you. There's so much, honestly, that I think yeah. even with like collaborating with coming up with ideas, I, I think it's endless. So I mean, you could make it. That would be my vote. You got you guys. Yeah, I, I I don't want to draw it out if uh, you guys don't want me to come back. I think everyone else has something that they can work on. Like, I mean, Mush, you got the gambling thing. It's funny. Your video yesterday with the Chinese baccarat was good. Rocky, the video I saw yesterday was good. I thought you you know you're good on camera. The roasts were great. Um, you're good at uh, alienating an entire office with a blog, I guess. <laughs> no, but no, but just say real quick, no, no, no. I, I actually had no problem with it. Honestly, okay. it, you were you were good when you told the story yesterday. I thought you mm -hmm. have, like Dave said, a very good conversational, like guys talking ability. You know, work on that. See if it can get you more. And we've said it a million times that you're great at approaching people and, and being a guy who can do man on the street and be a, you know come up to people. So. I don't think any of this means that like you're done forever. You just got to work on the other stuff. But Dave's right, young Mantis. I can't take my eyes off you, man. Yeah. And I don't mean that in a creepy way. Yeah, I was gonna say and that. Uh, the one thing I'll say too with Dylan, I didn't say anything. Or brought, you remind me a lot of Francis in the sense when he competed in this. It, what he his skill set seemingly didn't always like. This isn't necessarily Barstool esque. And I'm trained almost to be like, oh well, this guy's similar. But in, even when you started, I think, in the beginning, it's like, how does he fit in? And then once he kind of was hearing out his comfortable, it's like he kind of torn into, turned into like a tornado of content, mm -hmm. getting comfortable. I can see that. You have talents that are unusual for us um, and maybe more time and things like that. And, and it's to what Dan said. I, and I said this to Erica in the beginning for all of you. To me, going through this process and, and like do, being here, separates yourself. We're in a very different spot now where we want talent. So there had to be one winner, guaranteed job, all that stuff. But we're finding very quickly people who really care about this company and would put themselves through the scrutiny and being on camera, those are guys who always end up turning out the best for us, guys or girls, because they're willing to work, they're here for nothing. Um, so I, I would not say for anybody sitting up there that this closes the door with us at all. Uh, we, this is a contest that we pick a winner. For me, well, it's two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I, I mean, like, you, you could say what you said was that he has this unfair advantage, but I don't think that that you're still funny regardless, totally. and like th that's phenomenal because it means it's not going to get. Old. I think I said that. No, I know, I know. Yeah. I'm saying like, you've you've made very different ways to make yourself funny. And uh, I admire that. You're not just picking on low-hanging fruit. Um, but I, I would agree with both of the things you guys have said, which is that all of you were very different, surprisingly. And uh, that was what made it not boring to do this, mm -hmm. was fun. Like, you know, you have such different personalities. And uh, I, I would say that, you know, as far as job applicants go to Barstool, you know, you're the five best applications I've seen in a year and a half of working here. And I, we, get, we all get a ton of emails from people. So congratulations, you know, thank you guys for, for putting in such amazing effort, yeah. Yeah, and congratulations, we'll find out what your deal, you, where do you live? Uh, Indianapolis. All right, so, we'll, oh yeah, McAfee, that's the craziest thing. Wait, did you not notice what he said, what Dave said? 
that if you had gone up against Young Mantis, you would have lost. Oh, I, I don't disagree. Yeah. Well, you probably would I don't even know if I would have beaten like him or, or some of these other guys. Yeah. I thought no, the tough. talent it's was way better. Way tougher this year, this year yeah. than last year by far. Like, yeah. all you guys put together videos that made me laugh at some point, and that's, I mean, it's hard to, to do that out of thin air. I have a question. Yeah. Um, can't you not start? Until after you finish. Oh, your next I like year's this. School. I like where this yeah. is going. Ooh. Oh, and here's the drama. And Still here's the it. drama. The, drama. the game's now. over. Shut Boy. up. Boy. <laughs> Boy. So <laughs> what's going on? Bang bang. This guy a year left of school. I mean, I like. Uh, it's a fair question. And, and to be honest, even beyond that question, we'll talk to you. But I was going to talk to all of you guys and figure out because I know some people took time up from work. Some people may need answers right now. But it, I really, truly mean it, and we talked about this, Eric and I, before the competition started. Like, we're not, it's not a one and everybody else is eliminated and maybe come back in a year. I'm very interested to find out all the situations, and we will, you know, after the cameras are off. I, what, you had another year of school, Mantis? Yeah. Fucking A, man. <laughs> all right, where, where do you go? Uh, you pee, why? Well, that's not even a real place, is it? Yeah. What is it? That's why I've been Indiana University, Purdue University, of Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes it way funnier. You should finish a year yeah, and, and just like do a video of what that is to I go know, to a fake school. What, a combination of Indiana and Purdue? It's Indiana University, Purdue University of Indiana. Indianapolis. They play basketball. Yeah, you guys yeah, are a basketball team. But they suck. Yeah, so but just, I've, I've seen me, them play. There's so yeah. much stuff in Indy that I can do. That okay. I did a state fair, I haven't put that out yet, so I was waiting for this opportunity. All right. So. All right, we'll figure it out. I mean, we're not fucking paying you a full-time salary, man. That's when you're in fucking school. That was a nice, <laughs> nice last ditch, like, after yeah. Rocky <laughs> threw the red flag after the game yeah. was over. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. turn, turn those suggest, machines back on. What? I'll just suggest that some, so in school, like, there should be more opportunities for someone to work here in New York. Yeah, well, how about, how about saying that before you fucking won the competition? <laughs> we literally are getting up. Like my, 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 microphone is, my microphone is in my hand. Like, we're over. The feed's probably done. You won, and you're like, oh, I can't do it. Maybe you should hire other in a year. People. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> can, I say, can I say one more thing? Well, Whatever. Yeah, please. Ruin the whole fucking thing. <laughs> this is an absolute claustrophobic. Just hire a Michigan man. Yeah, right? What What? What do you want to say? say I, it's been a really great week. I, I've had a lot of stress working now. So I want to thank Lisa Mattress for helping. I'm going to do my bat fits after a long night of. Uh, oh, it, that just messed it up. But thanks, Lisa, for soon helping me. Wait till Ohio kid founds out he lost to a guy who can't even win the competition. <laughs> His undefeated streak in the hands the of most a deformed kid. This is the most can't barstool the difference. Is your Lisa going to fit all in your time. dorm bed? Like, I don't know. Holy uh, shit. Oh. Uh, uh, all right. Fucking Mantis. Now I know why, now I know why Matt be probably a higher. You can work. I, I mean, Mush, you're I'm like, ready to go. Mush, I'm ready to go. Mush. I'll, I'll, I told him, come through. Who was second? Why don't you rank them? Yeah. Oh, now the drama starts. Damn. Damn. Mush, you were so fucking bad today. It's like you had the lead going <laughs> in it. You were my you, you second had guy, Dave's but heart. You, you like. He kept on, every oh, time God. we talked, he was like, Marty Mush, Marty video. Mush, Marty Mush. You, you, I was like, Dave, you're not going to fuck the guy. Come on. Let's just it's, just your, it's like, you, you did that. how do you not make content? You're the, that's actually got, the most Mush thing ever. It's like, <laughs> he, <laughs> was, <laughs> he had it won. You had it won. Like, <laughs> this is going to sound so bad. But yeah, I won't even say it. Yeah, don't say it. All right. Did you see the Yankee game? Yeah. I bet it too. Yeah. But I had it, I was, was shooting and it didn't work out. And it Joe, was, you know, Joe was actually inadvertently, while he was being mean to everybody, has helped you the most because I read your blog about him being like, I can't tell if he's real or fake. I've, I've tried to call bullshit on so but, many things that Marty Mush has done. Oh, this is and great. he checks out on everything. Like he's everything, everything yeah. that I know. You, but and by the way, can I just. He's going to bring this whole company down. Uh, and he's gonna show up. No, you're an, you're an imbecile. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's what you guys are saying. He's an imbecile, yeah. but it, I tend to like imbeciles. And this well, is I mean, worth absolutely nothing, but I apologize for that vlog. I, and I know it's worth it. do that. We get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah, people yeah, saying they're yeah. sorry. But, like, all right. Say sorry for saying sorry now. Okay, I'm sorry for saying sorry. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. I mean, that, I don't know. The second would. 
I don't know. Fucking plot twist. Oh. I would have said. Who would have been I would have said Rocky for a second. I thought his shit yesterday was good, and then today was. He's been pretty consistent. Well, what would you have said? I would have gone most second. I mean, I haven't. Today was my first bad day. Uh, it, but we, but no, it it's was, only four days. I mean, it's like that's like Marty. That's like days. saying we're great. We're great everywhere but the red zone. Like. You still got to score no, points. No, it's worse. Oh, I mean, that's yeah. a great I had one bad day. The no, last I mean, fourth quarter. I, I had a bad back. day every day. It's like the days. biggest audition in your life, and it's like, oh, I just fucked up one of the four. Yeah, that wasn't yeah. all day. The I mean, fourth it was a day. Good, yeah. I mean, I thought of that video with it. Like, I was, it, wasn't I in there the entire time, like, actually well, giving, yeah. like, telling how we could incorporate that video. Like, we just started writing shit. So did a, he help you with that? Yeah, we both wrote it. Yeah, still, guys. Still on the board. Which one? Do you want to see the board? Yeah, I mean, it says. They're all. All right. Uh. It did say how to ask. Tune in. No, yeah. Tomorrow morning, whatever. Here. We're going to talk to you guys anyways, because before we do anything, I want to know all the situations of everybody up there to make sure there's nobody else who wins the contest who can't start. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. No. I mean, I, I'm so in you, You've wasted all of our time. <laughs> I mean, fuck. I got 5,000 followers. It's so. kind of like, <laughs> what are you saying? No. I assume if you're almost This whole thing is so ridiculous. <laughs> I, I literally took my mic off. Yeah, it's in my hand. mic's off. Okay. Fuck you, Rocky, for bringing it up. Like, I yeah. would have been out of here. You're, yeah. That's big. Gotta go all big. Yeah, that's no, smart. Well, you need, a, you need a conclusion. I mean, the Mantis won. He won. Mantis won. And we'll figure out from there. And everyone else... I'm not saying you can't win and then by not default. Win. Yeah, right. Now again, will we hire? I was planning on seeing what these guys were doing, anyways, and trying to figure out how all of them potentially could work here. Yeah. But no one's—he's the winner. <laughs> and he can't. But not. You're reapplying, <laughs> Mantis. When you fucking yeah, you. It's not you. This isn't like defer. It's not like I. I he's gonna I, take a leap year. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna Barcelona season three. Yeah, there you go. I do have a YouTube. I have a YouTube Can you work in Indianapolis? Yeah, I have a YouTube shop and putting out videos in Indy. Okay. Since... Why are you even going to school? Yeah, Who just drop cares? out. Drop out. I need a degree. Why? So just in case. In case what? What's your a degree, degree in? in? What? what is your degree? What are you getting a degree? In? <laughs> Sports management. The honeymoon lot was like <laughs> over in a second with you and Dave. Right, so if I drop out, I can work here. Yeah, you won, you won the job. company. You we won have a, a job. contract <laughs> waiting for you, you <laughs> moron. I got, let, me call, let me call my mom. Yo, no, think about think about how many more that. credits think do you have? Just think about how many it more credits do you have? Uh, f- twelve. Twelve. That's so. That's one semester. Yeah. All right. So go you're fine. You're fine. He's go fine. He's gonna go to school for two months. People like you, they just come and then they become attached you'll probably be in team port and you're going nowhere yeah you're, you're here not, for life. cancel your flight back so what sports man you're what never going mean? home i don't know it's it, easiest easiest degree yeah. exactly <laughs> just, at a fake school a sports management degree tell, with your physique you're here yeah tell your tell tell your mom you'll see her at christmas okay that's the next time you'll see her all right congratulations <laughs>